Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're dropping it into Rollercoin for a super quick update on the battery system. Now Rollercoin is saying this is going to be the final version, but I'm not quite sure. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so as you can see, we're here in my Rollercoin account and not a whole lot has happened. We have gone from being at 157.7 up to 158.09 now and that has basically come from basically just playing games and obviously trying to complete those daily tasks now you can see at the top here we're still currently on our way through level um two but we are very close if we drop into the season pass season pass here we go you can see that basically ooh, I'm doing as many games as I can uh, as often as I can. Some days I'm not quite managing to really get it done because of other co other commitments. But as you can see here, we're doing as much as we can. I didn't do Flappy Rocket today because I just can't play that. So I missed out on 4 XP there. But uh, we are pretty close to... I mean, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well, I think. We're doing pretty well. And it was quite funny the other day because my... You can see here I'm at 1,063rd place in the leaderboard. The other day, I dropped down to like 1,200 and something. And I was like, okay, fair enough. I'm assuming that a load of people have bought miners or something like that. And then yesterday it just disappeared, the the other 200. So I'm guessing that a load of you have had already passed through this level two, picked up this boost, and then shot past me. And then when the boost ran out, the temporary power ran out, you dropped below me again. I was extremely confused at one point, but I was like, yep, that must be what has happened. So anyway, the batteries update. Now, like I say, Rollercoin is pretty much saying that this is the final adaptation of the battery system. And for me, it's really positive on a couple of levels. But there is one negative which actually makes me think it could get revised again somewhere down the line. But we'll go through it. So the initial update, it basically says here, electric system updates first of all we want to thank all rollers for your feedback and helping us to improve the current electricity system we've considered different options and now we're we are ready to share with you the final version of the upcoming update it says here detailed review of the update first of all the recharge option will become free for both raw and bonus power again, which is a massive. So that's actually good on three levels. We'll talk about the other two in a bit. So yes, the fact that we are getting our bonus power back, obviously, you, you know, just like me, I thought that was just re so out of order, absolutely ridiculous, essentially making us pay for power we had already paid for. Uh, especially when they were talking about uh, taking it away from the racks and all that lot. I just thought, no, that's just, that is just way out of order. But thankfully, Rollercoin have heard your uh, opinions on that and they brought that free power and bonus power back, which is top. The first cell is completely free to recharge. It will maintain all your mining power, both raw and all types of bonus power you have. This cell needs to be recharged every 24 hours to keep all of your mining power active. Um, the other thing is, is that obviously the it says here that basically you're going to get all that power, all your 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 raw power and bonus power, and it just needs to be recharged every 24 hours, which is what we did anyway. We pretty much what we used to do anyway. You know, and most people log in every day. 
anyway so obviously you can hit that recharge button you'll get all of your power your raw power and your bonus power and you just got to log in every you know every 24 hours and click that button and obviously if you play the games and stuff like that and you're trying to work your way through the season pass and get all the daily tasks you're going to be doing that anyway so for me it's not a problem and also like i say i think it's a great thing that they have done an about face uh, and reconsidered this whole thing with the bonus power okay so we've already read this bit at the top the first cell is completely free of charge blah 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 blah. cell needs to be reached so basically this this the um cell to the very left that says free that is just one cell so that is just the one cell that you need to click the recharge button for so basically you can come in you don't have to have any batteries and you can click that recharge every 24 hours and you're going to get your full power which is absolutely brilliant now it says here cells two to four will maintain all of your mining power as well and we need one battery to recharge you will need one battery to recharge all three cells for one time so basically cells two three and four require one battery and that will and basically it says here so if you want to extend the time of keeping your mining power active without recharging you can use the one battery and all your mining power will stay stay active for four days instead of just one so obviously if you're someone that has got a very large account is not really bothered about um sort of playing the games or is needing to do the daily quests obviously if your account's big enough you might have just bought the the whole package you know the the season pass um the complete package at four uh, five four nine uh, and you've got it you've got all of the rewards straight away so you won't need to um come in and do the daily tasks and play the games and all that lot so basically you can just for one battery have um fill those extra three cells up and then you don't you've not got to log in for four days basically uh so you know for those of you that are lucky enough to do that then absolutely brilliant but for the rest of us obviously if we want to keep our mining power going for that bit extra we do need to deposit one battery uh every few days but for me that is i don't think that's a big deal i think if you want the extra days then one battery for essentially three days or four days extra three days extra uh, i don't think is a big deal i think again that is quite a, a quite a good compromise from where we where they were looking to go and where that where they are now i think that is a really good compromise and at the end of the day like i say if you're someone that is really pushing for the season pass and you're logging in every day you don't even need to get that one battery you could just click recharge uh and get and fill up the free cell with no problems so you know for me like i say that that does work really well i think that works really well okay so ways to get batteries now this is obviously we'll read it so good news for active players since the only way to get batteries will be from drops in the mini games battery cases from the season store as well as complete one task quest with the battery reward will be removed so basically they're saying that if when you go in the season store and you've got the three different battery cases you can just purchase with rst they're gone and also the one task that you could complete in the task wall to get your battery that's gone also uh, and it says this update will bring extra profit for selling batteries which it will on the marketplace uh, for those who stay active and play regularly auto recharge feature has also been rem uh, been removed so because obviously they want you to either recharge every day or add that extra battery so basically your power lasts longer now obviously some of you might have concerns about the whole battery thing uh, as we know and as i do at the moment i claim that one battery from that daily task but you've got to look at it this way 
essentially what they've done with uh, this electricity bar is they've negated the actual necessity. Sure, if you want the extra power, you can get you can get the batteries. But if it's negated the absolute necessity for batteries. So the great thing is now that, P, that when we use that when we earn RST, because I've said for ages that basically since we've had RST, everything they've done has essentially taken RST away from us in the sense that it's we've had to or we've been forced to use it in other places. But now they're basically get rid of the requirement or like I say, the necessity for batteries. Now, any RST that you earn, you can really focus on those RST miners because you're not going to buy batteries anymore. Uh, as long as you OK, logging in once a day, clicking that recharge button, you do not need batteries anymore. So like I say, all the RST that you get, you can start really focusing on getting those season passes. Or if you want to, I guess you could throw the RST at the loot boxes in the season store. But personally, I would not. I would focus more on those season miners, those RST miners. The fact that you've not got to spend your RST now on batteries, spend it on those, save it up, and focus on those getting those miners for your accounts. Now, the other great thing, because I did say that there was two, uh, it was a two level thing, although it was actually a three level thing because we're getting that bonus power back basically given to us. So we always have that again now. Uh, is the fact that for those of you that do play the mini games, uh, and you're going to be getting those battery uh, airdrops uh, regularly, hopefully, you are going to be able to start racking up that RLT by selling those batteries on the marketplace. Now, that obviously is good if, and this is why I think there is a possibility this might get revised again, so obviously the great thing, like I've just said, is those people playing games, hopefully you're going to be earning batteries regularly from the airdrops and you can sell them on the marketplace. Now, that works as long as people are buying batteries because now we've got this, re this free recharge where we get to keep all our power and there's no require real necessity for those batteries you could find that not many people actually use it and this is something where for once i will actually say that i believe roller coin have gone the wrong way a bit or, or sort of rolled things back in the probably seem to be in a good way, but I think they've taken it a little bit too far. Uh, in the sense of that, if we again, let me bring up this. You see, with the one battery thing, with the exception of it gives you the extra time, the extra few days of not needing to log in, it doesn't give you any other incentive. Now, what I think they should have done is had this system exactly how it is but with the one battery i think they should have kept some bonuses so it's either that you we would get the bonus bonus multiplier if we added one battery as well as the extra few days or we got uh, bonuses on the mini games or we got bonuses uh, the other bonus that they offered remember there was three bonuses uh, what was it? Oh, t oh, and Task War, wasn't it? It was like um, the multiplier, the Task War, and the mini games were added bonuses if you added batteries. So what I would say is the only thing I would say for Rollercoin is with this battery thing, is basically keep everything as it is, except maybe add one out of those three bonuses to the battery thing. So basically, if you add a battery, you get... I, I mean, personally, I would want the multiplier. 
So because in the mini in the mini in the mini events, if if because I would add a battery every single time to get that multiplier, I would do that. Um, you know, but I don't think you should really need to add a battery every day. Maybe just just the same thing. Maybe have one add one battery, or yeah, add one battery, and you get like say I don't know, you get a times two on the multiplier. So it just goes up by one. I can't remember what the multiplier was, the bonus on it was, but I think that's the only thing is like I say, because there's no real incentive now to have that battery, to get that battery or to add that battery to the to uh, the energy bar, um, with the exception of the extra time, I think a lot of people won't use it because they'll just think, well, I'm getting everything. I log in every day anyway. I'm getting all my power and all my bonus power. I'll just, I'm just happy to click recharge. Uh, and like, but like I say, if there was more of an incentive to add that one battery, like I say, like a bonus on the multiplier in the mini events, I would add it. Um, but the thing is, is because I log in every day, I'm probably just going to use the free recharge. And then what I'll do is, you know, or you know, obviously all my RST I'll put towards the C, uh, season store miners uh, and that's it. But yeah, I the only, that's the only thing I would say is a, a shout out to Roller Coin is to say give us a bit more of an incentive to add that battery. Personally, like I say, I would like to see a multiplier bonus added as well. And then, yeah, I'm sure most of us would add a battery. In fact, I probably would say, no, you know, 90% of people would add that battery to get that multiplier bonus. Even if it's just, like I say, it goes from a one times up to a two times, it would make a big difference. And like I say, it gives more of an incentive to add that battery to the energy bar. Okay, so... I'm going to leave that there. I hope you found that helpful, fun, and informative. If you can smash that like button, please. It really, really does support my channel, which then helps me make more content to help you. So take care. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.